Jonathan Watson, Director of International Sales for Alvarado Turnstiles. I'm going to be showing you a couple of the operational features and functionalities of the MSTX Full Height Security Turnstile. The MSTX Turnstile is available in three different finishes. It can be either hot dipped galvanized, powder coated in client's choice of color, or satin stainless steel. The demonstration unit that I'm showing you today is satin stainless steel. It is made up of four main sections. The curved yoke section, which is a fully welded, complete section. The rotating roto section. And the barrier section. On top, you have the top channel section, which houses all of the control components and electronics. Each section is completely welded and, and is not bolted together or consists of any uh, screws or fasteners. The unit is self-supporting. It, it uh, mounts to the ground and does not require any lateral or overhead strapping or securing. This unit is equipped with a couple options. On the side here you have a card reader mounting plate. We're showing it with a proximity reader, but this can be a mag stripe, barcode reader, fingerprint reader, keypad, whatever the client desires. We supply it with the, with the mounting plate, which can accept any reader. The, it's a tubular steel all the way up to the top channel, so you have a fully enclosed raceway to run your wires and activation leads. I have some arm guards here. That's to either protect the client or to make it easier for them to push it in cold weather or hot weather. And up here on the top channel, we have activation lights. Red indicating that it's locked, and when it is unlocked or activated, it will go green. This turnstile is also equipped with key overrides up at the top channel. That will allow the user of the turnstile to physically unlock either direction of passage. This can be handy in times of group entry or guard override, independent of the access control system. You can also use that to set the turnstile up for free passage in either direction. As you can see, this now has free access in the counterclockwise rotation while still requiring access for the opposite. locked until given acceptance. As you can see, self-centering will always return the arms to home position. I'm going to now show a simulated crowd situation. So, a bunch of people lined up, one after the other, activating the turnstile. Ultimately, the optimal throughput that you're going to achieve with the turnstile is about one person per four seconds or 900 per hour. So I'll go ahead and activate and then some people will follow behind me. You can see it's very efficient in terms of processing a large amounts of people through in a short amount of time. And of course, it can operate in both directions, but in times of maximum flow, you would want to dedicate a single direction for uh, processing patrons. 